Keep it going for Johnny PZ. Keep it going. I'm the eye candy for the evening. Thank you. You ever have one of those nights you walk into a Chinese food restaurant and you just know you got it going on, man? I one of those nights. Glad to be in a Chinese food restaurant. I was going to wait and going to try some of the food later on. I was going to stop at McDonald's. I got close. I saw the sign for a billion served daily. Just kept driving by because I hate waiting in long lines. <laughs> Could I have figured I'd go to Burger King? You know, Burger King's slogan is Burger King. We do it your way. I thought that was a cool slogan, right? We do it your way. We got to put that slogan to the test. Went into Burger King. Lady came to the counter and said, can I take the order? I said, at my house, my girlfriend cooks me a hamburger topless. I eat it, then we make love on the kitchen table. <laughs> Long story short, Burger King does not do it your way. <laughs> it is bullshit. <laughs> but they will call 911 under the appropriate circumstance. <laughs> if a midget goes mini golfing, would that be considered regular golf? <laughs> Things I think about right there. There's some Domino's pizza, you guys like Domino's? This slogan's 30 minutes or less. You impressed with that? 30 minutes or less. I'm not impressed with that. I know I'm personally better than Domino's 30 minute guarantee. Because my girlfriend's nickname for me is the Minute Man. <laughs> Thank you. So many guys out there know what I'm talking about. Come on, you know. If Dolly Parton was on the Titanic, would she have lived? <laughs> you think she might have? I don't know. Those are the things that I wonder. Oh. Got some Chinese food. You guys like Chinese food? Yeah. I like it just a little bit. Not a go. Got some Chinese food. Chinese are messing with us, and I'm here from here and that. They are messing with us bad. I get delivered in my house, right? I open up the bag. I order lobster sauce. I got it. It had pork and no lobster in it. Ordered an egg roll. I got it. It had cabbage and no egg in it. Ordered some crab rangoons. I got it. It had cream cheese and no crab in it. Yeah. I ended up, I paid them with a check to a bank account that had no money in it. <laughs> now, said two can play at this reggae game, all right? Now, there enough, they got the best of me in the end, though, because I opened up my fortune cookie and it said, Do you know where your cat is? <laughs> <laughs> put you right in the mood to eat your meal. Don't get the point out there. Oh, boy. If you go to a strip club, why is there a cover charge? <laughs> you go to a gay bar, do you blow the head off your beer? <laughs> <laughs> If you're in a fishing tournament and you take first place, would that make you a masturbator? <laughs> you work in a bank and you get on with a coworker after hours, could you be fired for having safe sex? <laughs> all things I want to read. Yeah. Went to Foxwoods over the weekend. Have you ever been to Foxwoods? Yeah. Anybody ever win big at Foxwoods? No. Nobody wins big at Foxwoods, man. Yeah. Foxwoods, the wonder of it all. Basically, you drive up there and you wonder where they get the money to build all those great, big, beautiful buildings. Then you figure out on the ride home and you wonder what the hell happened to all your money. <laughs> this is how stupid we become as a people, okay? Follow me. This is how stupid we become as a people. In the olden days, the Indians used to ride down out of the hills on horses, down to the wagon train, and steal from the wagon train. They're so high-tech nowadays, they now get the white man to voluntarily drive to their reservations <laughs> so that they can steal from us. <laughs> then I heard the other day a contest of who can sing the Foxwoods jingle the best. I'd like to get on some of that action, you know? Hey, life is good, life is sweet. We'll steal your money every time we meet. Come on, guys, we'll steal it all. Yeah, we live to put your money in our vault. Foxwoods. <laughs> Uh, I did see some major stupidity on the way out of the casino, though. I went to back up coffee for the car ride home, and my change back from the coffee on one of the $1 bills, it was written down, go to the George.com or something, and track where this dollar bill has been. Hey, Rich, how many is that? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. What level of boredom have you hit in life where it makes sense in your head to track where a dollar bill has been? I've been bored before. I got the weekend off from work. I'm sitting around the house with nothing to do. I got so bored one time, I went to my caller ID. And I looked up the phone numbers of the telemarketers that had called me all day, and I called them back just to ask them if they were happy with the long distance area. <laughs> that board ain't never been so bored I'd track where a dollar bill has been. I'm a comedian. When I see stupidity like this, it's my job to screw with these people. So here's what I do I go to this website and I pull a dollar bill out of my wallet. I type in the serial number of the dollar, on the location I put this at the height. 
My name's Dennis. I'm a male stripper. And the last place the dollar bill you're holding was, was inside of my phone. <laughs> and right next to that statement, I post a picture of me and a phone holding a dollar bill like this. <laughs> I just picture some poor bastard standing at his computer monitor going, I don't want to play this game no more! <laughs> That's where you tell Bill's been right there, man. Oh, boy, I tell you, though. Speaking about money, I was with this girl the other night, and she had this really elaborate underwear set with a bra and panty set. She must have went to Victoria's Secret and spent, like, over $100 on this thing. And I'm thinking, who would spend over $100 on underwear? That's totally ridiculous, you know? But then I touched them, and they were so soft that I couldn't believe the quality, and then I started to see it. So if you get this kind of quality, then you could spend over $100 on underwear, you know? But now I'm paying so much attention to the other way. She's like, oh, you are perfect. You are perfect. I'm like, man, you didn't spend over $100 on fancy underwear because you didn't want guys to know. It's like, pretty sure that's why you spent that much, because you did want to know. That's how women are, right? You play dumb like we don't know, but we know, ladies. I'm thinking to myself, man, that is the last time I try to start a conversation with a stranger in a laundry man, man. No <laughs> 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 Oh, it's good, though. Pay the child support, man. Everybody pay the child support? I don't get the whole thing. I really don't, man. I find it interesting that America is supposed to be the greatest country in the world, yet they need a third of my paycheck to raise a child. Then I turn on the TV and I see where you can raise a kid over in Africa, which is 62 cents a day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. I do pay the child support because I pay the child support. I think I'm a part-time job. Anybody here think I'm a part-time job? Anybody? I got one as a Chippendale dancer. Nice. Right. Thank you. Well, I'm a big guy night, obviously. Hey, some girls like the big guys. You'd be surprised. Any girls like big guys? <laughs> and say, all right, well, you won't give me the internet, will you? think I'm kidding. I get these girls that come in all the time. They're all about that big guy fantasy through me. How do you think that makes me feel? Pretty good, actually. You're right. <laughs> they call me the trouble with a rubber. <laughs> you think I'm kidding? I do, right? I get these girls that come in, they want to like role play with me, though. I got requests, I get, like weird ass requests. I get these girls that come, they go, look, look, you guys want this one. I want to be Princess Leia in a bikini outfit, and I want you to be Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> 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 That's my job of the hut. I get other requests. I get like weird ass requests, man. I get these girls that come up and they go, okay, okay, here's what I want. This one. I want to be a little girl sitting on your knee, and I want you to be Santa Claus. I want Santa to give me a gift that's 12 inches and will make me feel like a naughty girl. I don't think you've been that good a girl this year. Why don't you guys sign up a little smaller gift? <laughs> you think I'm kidding, ladies? Let me tell you something. Once you go big, that's what you'll dig. <laughs> Once you've had fluff, a regular man's just not enough. Ladies, you're in need of a dollar dance. Why well, settle for half a man? You give Big Ben a chance. <laughs> you still think I'm kidding, don't you? Alright, I'll prove it to you. No, please don't. Give me a beat! <laughs> Give me a beat! was a wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> hey, I'm Dennis Worth, back to your host, Johnny Peasy. Thank you very much for having me. Come on, let him know, Dennis Worth. Yeah.